Ever since starting this YouTube adventure, I've had a few people send me something, and I'm pretty sentimental with things like that. And so, I've actually been keeping all of the notes. And so today I want to build a custom cork board in my shop, so that I have a dedicated spot for notes like these to go. If you want to see how I do it, stick around. When looking around my shop on where I could put a cork board, these doors just seem like the perfect spot to me. So I started with tearing up some boxes, cutting them down to size, and then using staples to put them up. The reason I'm using cardboard is because the cork is very thin, so this just gives a little extra cushion for the push pin. I used my stapler to attach the cork. I wish that these rolls were a little bit longer so I wouldn't have a seam, but it is what it is. For the right side, I needed a little length cut off, and I just used my hands all for that. And then I started painting. After letting two coats dry, I started taping off something cool to look at. I grabbed a few different widths of painter's tape and started laying out a design. To keep things neat and symmetrical, I would first go through with my tape measure and make several marks along the line that I wanted to follow. Then I would come back with the width of tape that I wanted for that line and then just make sure I hit those marks. And then I just kept repeating this until I was happy with the design. When I was done, I made sure all the lines were pressed firmly down. And then I started the task of painting what will become the background. I had a little mishap, a spill with the green paint, but don't worry, I didn't let it go to waste. Now I tried out a new painting technique because I wanted to use my shop colors but I didn't want the board to be such a dominating feature, so this just slightly mutes the contrast and gives it a little bit softer of a look. Once everything was dry, I started the fun part of revealing the final look. And then I simply hung up my notes. So now that this is done, I think the only thing I would change is I would go ahead and glue the cork board to the cardboard. That way I wouldn't have to use staples on the cork. But other than that, I'm very happy with the way that this came out. And I'm already loving having these notes up here. So keep in mind that even if you don't want or need a cork board, you can very easily use the same painting technique with painter's tape to pretty much apply to anything. I've done it once before with a shop project, a rolling cabinet, where I made a simple AW. But if you had a wall in a ring that you can't figure out what to do with, you could very easily pick out a much simpler design, or heck, even a more complex design, and use the same technique and then go to town. Just give it a little something something to look at. So. Anyways, that's it for this one. You can check out my blog with a little bit more details in it. It's walkerdues.com, and I will see you next time.